When the shuttle made it possible for scientists to be a part of the program as astronauts, then uh, that was my break. And I will be involved in payload operations, performing some of the experiments. If there's any extravehicular activity going on, then I will be the one performing that. So it's a, you know, a multiplicity of duties. Uh, let's chat with the people of NASA. People like Dr. Ronald McNair, a physics professor and one of NASA's newest astronauts. You are, uh, you are a PhD from MIT, aren't you? That's right. Um, isn't that kind of, um, that's kind of tough thing to get, isn't it? I have to agree. <laughs> Why is it so tough? Oh, it's, it's a very broad field involving, many times involving the abstract and things which aren't exactly intuitive. They violate our intuition and it violate the world as most people know it often. And uh, you, you have to bring a lot of different disciplines together within physics. You know, your electromagnetism, your thermodynamics, a lot of things you must pull together. But uh, it's, it's very challenging, I mean, but it's, again, one of those challenging efforts that's satisfying. Well, and now, I mean, um, well, for example, I mean, you don't come from a mathematics or science background, do you? No, there are no scientists or math people in any of the sciences in my family. I didn't grow up around it. I think... Uh, uh, where did you grow up? Lake City, South Carolina. Uh, I think in my case, I was had quite a, an, an initiative type of student. I would I found that something. Well, I'll put it this way: I was interested in just about every subject that came along. But science was the one that gave me. Mathematics was the most challenging, gave me the most difficulty, and it. I had to work a little harder to sort of uh, understand and master the techniques, and it fascinated me. And I dug. I when I when I run out of books or would get ahead of a course, I'd go out and find something else because every I'd hear about something somewhere or, or glance at a new concept and I'd want to go and find out what it's all about. So I think with my case, it was an inner drive, a self type of motivation, motivating thing. Has athletics had any value to you as an astronaut in your job here at NASA? I say very definitely, especially in the developmental stage. Um, I've always been involved in lots of athletics. Like in high school, I was captain of football, track, and baseball teams. And uh, I'm still involved in each of the sports to some extent. But for the most part now, I'm a karate instructor. And that's where I spend most of my uh, hours in <laughs> physical activity. It's something I've been doing for the last 12 years. And I've become quite involved in it. Now, I think athletics helps develop a great deal of that discipline I was talking about. That uh, ability to do a job even when you don't feel like doing it. Something that you do, something that you have to do and need to do whether you feel like it or not. And I think that's where, that's where I think it helped me a great deal. On the football field, suffering. <laughs> and uh, you have to take that next step and keep going and not giving up. It develops a great deal. Uh, karate has been in addition to keeping in shape, it's been very good for sustaining a discipline and for keeping a calm frame of mind and a positive outlook. People who Not work at NASA sense. are people who think positively, no matter how difficult or unique the challenge. That effort. I mean, identify what you want to do and go straight forward and sort of be willing to sacrifice and uh, ignore these forces that try to limit you and divert your efforts.